What's going on everybody, C4, welcome back to the channel, and today we're here for episode 50 of our Philadelphia Eagles Madden 22 franchise rebuild here in the divisional playoff round of the 2023 season. We are fresh off the back of a epic playoff game. Wild card, usually wild card games hit or miss, right? Because there's some teams that are like barely squeaking the playoffs, don't deserve to be there, like the Philadelphia Eagles in real life last year against the Bucks. But this game was very far from that high scoring. You had the storyline of Aaron Rodgers going back to Lambeau Field, taking on his successor in Jordan Love, and Aaron Rodgers was on absolute God mode. I mean, both quarterbacks played well. There was not a lot of good defense being played on either side of the ball, but Aaron Rodgers, 460 passing yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. That is about as good as it gets. And we ran the ball about as good as it gets. 186 yards, touchdown for Miles Sanders, 216 for Jalen Rager, three touchdowns. They had three touchdowns themselves for Amari Rodgers, over 100 yards. Uh, Quez and Avante getting involved. Defense was just... I don't even want to give these guys any shine. They did absolutely nothing. It was a pathetic effort defensively. We gave up 40 points. You know, if our offense wasn't on point, we would have easily lost that matchup. But luckily, our offense is very good. Our offense is at a spot where, honestly, if our defense is going to stink the bed for the entirety of this playoff run and games turn into a shootout, I trust our offense against pretty much any offense when it comes to a shootout. So we're hoping that this miracle final run or asterisk next to that, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is actually going to come back next season if we do crash and burn in the playoffs. But you got to remember, last year we went to the NFC Championship. So we hope to at least get back there, equal that... But the team that stands in us uh, in front of our way here is the Carolina Panthers. And the Panthers were pretty damn good. They're the one seed. You know, taking a little peek here, it is, you know, <laughs> ridiculous Sam Darnold production. It is ridiculous Christian McCaffrey production. Um, yeah, I mean, they got guys. DJ Moore's a dog. Rob, uh, Anderson got speed. Robbie Anderson defensively. Riddick. I mean, he's an eagle now, but he's an absolute beast in Madden and in real life on the Panthers. Brian Burns is there. He can get after the quarterback. They got Gilly back. Man, there's a chance that we're looking at their best pass rushers in real life in eagle, and their best corner in terms of interceptions could be an eagle in real life, hopefully in the matter of a week or so. But, I mean, that's a damn good team. That is a damn good team, and we're sitting here being like, you know, is their defense going to be able to stop Aaron Rodgers? I, I don't know if he will. I honestly don't know if he will. Uh, coming out the weekly warner, I think it is probably Aaron Rodgers. It is Aaron Rodgers uh, on fire, man. I, you can't stress enough, and we're and we're seeing it firsthand from the difference of Zach Wilson, who's a fine player, to Aaron Rodgers. Just how much Madden is like, especially when you get to all Madden, where there's cheese and all that stuff. Just how much X factors and abilities and stuff like that kind of counteract the cheese. And that's something that I've definitely learned here. So, I mean, there's not much. We, we know the roster. We just have to go out and do it at this point. So, let's look at our weekly strategy, how we plan on attacking them. Well, Darnold's 40 touchdowns is certainly nothing to be, you know, you think Darnold's like, oh, yeah, right, he's Darnold. But, look, they love the short passing game. Uh, he's top three in short passing. So, even though you want to be focusing on the pure blue chip talent on that offense, which is Christian McCaffrey, I think we got to take away the short pass here from Darnold. Uh, offensively, uh, Jesus, everything but takeaways. One of the S tier defense. So I, I think, again, this is another situation where we focus throwing it short, getting it out of Aaron Rodgers' hands quickly, using that terrific release, finding Devontae Smith, finding Quez, finding Jalen Rager. So let's get through practice here. Hopefully, healthy, hopefully, a full strength lineup. Let's, let's get back to the NFC Championship game. So looking at our practice here, offensively, everyone is healthy, which is good. Defensively, this is more so, you know, if there's injury here, the Sims going to have to deal with it, but uh, healthy. Beautiful. I don't know, maybe Madden, like, just throws you a bone in the playoffs, and, like, like so even though if you have injuries on, they're like, we're not going to have someone get hurt here. Uh, this is all backup players here, so we'll just auto-spend. Yeah, this is it, man. I don't know. It's going to be a tough matchup. Hopefully our defense doesn't give up 40 points, but if they do, I, I, I'm i just utmost confident in our offense to trade points with anybody in the league. That is including a beastly Sam Darnold and Christian McCaffrey on the Carolina Panthers. So, let's get into it. Nerd. See ghosts, baby. You're going to see some ghosts here today, baby. All right, we're, uh, I'm going to turn that on slow so we can watch what the Panthers do on offense. But uh, as you can tell, first drive, no points. Oh my God, just right between the linebacker. It's Jalen Rager coming off a career day. 
And just like that, two passing plays were on to the Panther side of the field. Again, just a massive hole. That's one thing that like, I'm noticing. I don't know if it's a slider thing or whatever, but like anytime we go up against an elite run defending team, it never really feels that way. I feel like it's only a matter of time until we can establish a run. But then again, you look at our offensive line, there's not many better offensive. I think I, we probably have the best offensive line in the, in this world right now, right? And you throw it an X Factor running back. It's just our team's super talented. Okay, I don't know about this one, Coach. Coach wants screen pass on second and four on the twelve. Oh, okay. Get your blocks. Well, that was terrible block, and we had two there. Brandon Brooks and Kelsey. I firmly expect them to make that block, but we get a first down. That should have been a touchdown. Boom. Right in the middle, it is Jalen Ragger, who continues to be uncoverable. Opens this up with a touchdown in the stadium here in Carolina. Very quiet after this opening drive. Look at that, man. Just wide open. A little bit of, little bit of freestyle there. Maybe it wasn't the cleanest route, but it worked. Let's right, see what the Panthers can do. Got an 11-yard run. McCaffrey... 27-yard bomb to Robbie Anderson. God damn. All right. This is going to look like another shootout. And there's a five-yard touchdown by Christian McCaffrey to quickly retie this game back up at seven. Second to five. Let's go back to the inside run. Kelsey literally just looked back and said, I'm going to ready to run someone over. Let's go. Fix that double team. Well, shout out Landon Nickerson. Jesus, what a hit. All right, they're trying to set the tone here. Third and four. This is where we get a quick pass off to Dallas Goddard. Move the chains. Boom. Right in the middle. Easy does it. Okay, this was one of our plays last week against Green Bay. Rager was was vibing with it. We'll see if we can do it here again today. That, that's a throw you throw with a lot more confidence when Aaron Rodgers is an X-Factor. Ah, we might have had it. I don't know. Sets up third and ten. We got Quez. Man, do you think Quez could burn past Gil Gilmore here? I feel like you got to try that. That's a lot, though. That means someone on that right-hand side needs to make a play or else this is, this is going to be a punt. No. No. I don't like any of that. I don't even. Think, oh, like that could have been, could have been called grounding. But uh, luckily, start. But good stand from the Panthers D. All right, drive for Carolina here. Love a defensive stand. Would like our defense to match what their defense can do. And on th oh, they get 16 when they needed six. Drive continues. McCaffrey is just such a weapon. Third and long coming up, and they get 14. Damn it. Third and five, and they throw it away. Could go for the long field goal here. They do. 57 yards by the guy with no picture. We trail here. Oh, man, Rodgers. A little shaken up after that. I mean, he fumbled. The fumble came out late. Luckily, we get a nice little slant here to try to get some rhythm to our passing game again. Boom! And it's the slant king. Mr. Devontae Smith. And we're in a Panther territory. Good run to... Yeah, I mean, come on. The fumble's there, but... Oh, yeah. We start with the, the confident building run there for Miles Sanders, getting him back off that fumble. And now we have the Jalen Rager pass. Love it when Coach calls this. Uh, boom! Jalen Rager. Oh, my God. It's like, get that play in your playbook. And then we follow up with the slants. Let's go, coach. I mean, this probably should be a run, but I like the confidence with the passing attack here. Boom! Who else? Who else? All right, now it's Carolina's turn. Can our defense, hey, All right, start with a 15-yard pass, but Robbie Anderson gets up kind of late on that play. Injury. Third and one, incomplete pass, and punt it. 
Oh, yeah, he's gone. These guys saw that that uh, Aaron Rodgers is X Factor. They thought that was a pass, and this is where this is where it's like, all right, we're we're gonna put up shootout like numbers on offense. You better hang because plays like this happen. Like you think it's a close game, like you know we gotta stop a drive ago. Maybe we can, you know, force a punter, and then it's like, oh no, there's seventy five yard touchdown. We score so quickly, and he's gone. I mean, they got McCaffrey. I can, I would not be shocked to see a big time run here by Christian McCaffrey at some point to like equal what we're doing with Miles Sanders. We go Terrace Marshall Jr. 16 yards. McCaffrey into scoring range. They're definitely looking for a touchdown here. Two minute warning. Oh yeah, they're getting a touchdown on this drive. Oh, Fletcher gets a seven yard sack. Second and goal. That might. I think that's a huge play for us right there. Third and goal. Another sack. Josh Sweat backing them all the way up. And what looked like a for sure touchdown drive. They settle for a field goal. Oh, my God. See ya. All right, open. Why are they not covering the guy that had three touchdowns and 200 yards last week? All right, this is probably going to be our last attempt at a touchdown here. First and goal. Oh, no. I've had bad feelings. We know we get the X Factor for him, so I can throw it with full confidence. And it's the hat trick. Jalen Ragger, too easy. Oh, okay. That's, we wouldn't be picking on Stephon Gilmore if we didn't have our X Factor. I thought I'd take a shot there. Second and 10. We'd be aggressive. Do we get touchdown four for Jalen Ragger? Oh, comes a blitz. God damn it. Good blitz. Son Reddick. Can't wait to see him do that next season for Philly. He almost got the first down. Oh, why is there a timeout? Oh, Gilmore's hurt. Oh, <laughs> they just, they got the stop, right? Oh, they, not only did they get the stop, my coach wants to go for it. They got the stop, and now the only, like, oh, we got to avoid that guy on the defense. He's gone. This is, this is going to get ugly. Keep pounding inside, just my, like, no one even sniffs on him. I think we just... We put some respect on Carolina and just quickly go through their disappointing day. Even though they got a touchdown there. It's just... My God, man. I don't know. I think I might have to play defense for the remainder of these playoff games to give it a challenge because I just suck at defense. And with that run, Miles Sanders over 20 yards on the day. You got a lot of X factors. That's all I can kind of say is we watch me just go up and down the field. Cut through this Panthers defense, which we saw in the weekly strategy. Elite defense. You know, you just can't Smith X Factor. Or Smith Superstar. Rogers X Factor. Sanders X Factor. Goddard X Factor. This is a goddamn Pro Bowl. House rules, baby. Got to call what the coach wants. Oh, he's got to hit him with the Death Valley driver. Go for it. They get the touchdown that they need it. Man, if we win this game, I'm looking at that ticker right there. We're playing the Cowboys again. A rematch of last year's NFC Championship, which we uh, we lost. We played horrific foot. That was the that was the day that I decided I don't want to play defense anymore. We'll go, oh, we'll go guard the six. That could have very easily been a pick. But it's a stop for the Panthers. Put some respect. They got third and ten. They got to throw it away. Fourth and ten. They have to punt it. You just... That was a needed drive for Carolina. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. There we go. Dipsy Doodle there. We hit it with the Dipsy Doodle. Oh, no. My lot is hurt. That was a ridiculous play by Aaron Rodgers. Let's not, let's not just skip past that, but that could be a bad injury. Come on, sing it off, buddy. Get back in there.
And Devontae Smith continues to abuse C.J. Henderson. Drawing my lot of Bruce Hand. That's not bad. You know, with this lead, we'll put in Jones. Don't risk the injury. Have him be healthy for next week. Mr. Playoff, Quez Walker. You got to get on the scoreboard here. I mean, let's see it, man. We gotta, I, I got to see a quick touchdown here from Carolina, and they don't get it. Turnover on downs. Give Kenny G a chance here to put the 50 bomb up. Hey. You know what? When you're going up against the one seed and you kick their ass, you got to let them know. Like, you're not the best team. They probably came to this game thinking, all right, we're the best team in the NFC. Let's show these Eagles who's boss. And we go, ha, ha. No. No, no, you're not. There you have. I mean, again, I, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I think the only way this juggernaut of an offense we've built, I think I gotta play defense. I think I'm gonna have to play defense in the championship game against Dallas. That's a good revenge game. That was like really the last time we played defense. Gives me a second chance at trying to do that. But I mean, offensively, how do you stop this man? Like once we get our X factors going, it's it's easy mode. Um, perfect QB rating, Aaron Rodgers, 450 yards, five touchdowns, no picks, 213 and two for Miles Sanders. We got a buck 50 and four for Jalen Rager, buck 50 for Devontae. Uh, defensively, Devin Bush all over the place. Two sacks, Fletcher Cox, Barnett, and Josh Sweat got sacks as well. And so much for the one seeds being any challenge whatsoever. The Eagles are going back. To the NFC Championship game for a rematch of last year's NFC Championship game against the Dallas Cowboys. Followed from the victory, well, we got an upgrade here to Miles Sanders up to a 96 overall. We're going to keep pumping it into elusive back at this point. God, he's good, man. Like, if Miles Sanders isn't getting 150 yards, it's, you know, that's that's like his norm. You know, you get a little worried if it's not a buck 50 from Miles Sanders. But again, that's how our team's built, man. Uh, we're talking about Jason Kelsey on his Super Bowl run, his last hurrah. Uh, he continues to invigorate his teammates. Plus 10 more alpha roll. Our team's absolutely vibing going into this rematch. And, and that's going to be one of the most highly anticipated games in Eagles history. If, if imagine, Just imagine in real life. Put this in real life perspective. If Philly and Dallas met in the conference championship game. And like, you know, Philly lost to Dallas. And then the next year they meet again. It, it'd easily be like the biggest game in Eagles history, I think. Uh, in, in relation to the NFC East. So here we go, man. That sets up the rematch that we've all been waiting for. And I, again, I think I'm going to make the change to, to, to add in the difficulty. I, I'm going to play defense, man. And I mean, I, I feel good playing D. I play D on pink slips. And I actually have more fun playing D on pink slips than I do playing any other. You know, I, I have fun, more fun on, on D on pink slips than playing offense on pink slips. Offense on this series. So hopefully, you know, maybe I'm just back in rhythm with my defensive uh, side of things here in Madden. We can control Dallas and finally seal the deal and get back into the Super Bowl. Off of that game, I assume Aaron Rodgers back-to-back -back Offensive Player of the Week awards. Devin Bush getting on defense with 14 total tackles. But that sets up a very, very interesting NFC Championship game, which, you know what? Honestly, I might... I'm going to try to get to this sooner and later. So I'd say Monday, Tuesday. Keep an eye out for the sub boxes. That's when I'm going to try to drop episode 51 of this Eagles franchise. But that will do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace.